Good afternoon, Abbotsford residents. I'm here on McCallum Road, right here in Bruce Bandman's riding, Abbotsford South, now known as Lucy Goosey Bruce, they call him. Bruce Bandman was a former mayor that was very badly sabotaged. He had chicken manure on him. Well, his, his other city councillors and everybody else sat around and laughed and watched him be brought down to his knees. And for the whole time he was out on his term, never once had seen him or phoned him. Now Lucy Goosey Bruce goes back with them. But here's the thing. Bruce is now the BC United Kevin Falcons MLA. And all Bruce Bamman can do right now is David Eby. I'll leave David Eby's phone number. There's a problem, I'll leave David Eby's phone number. There's that, I'll leave David Eby's phone number. You can see right now by residents calling me from everywhere in the neighborhoods of what Henry Brown and Ross Siemens were doing. And the municipal election that Greg chose purposely blocked to hold me out. Not only did I lose a loss of opportunity, he did a character assassination on me that will be done and dealt with with legal lawyers on Great Toes. That I can advise Great Toes that right here. That that will be taken care of very, very swiftly. This is a democracy. Nobody's allowed to block. So I don't know how much Ross Siemens paid you to do it. I don't care. I don't care how much Ross Siemens paid Dave Sadu to do it. I don't care how much Ross Siemens got Gabriel to do it. Ross Siemens stood to gain, and I believe Henry Brown will say, you know, I did all the rest of the garbage, the hit and run. I did the threat. I manipulated city councils in my house to lift jobs. I hid development signs, but I never did that in the election. Ross stood to gain, not me. I don't think Henry's stupid enough to put his head out on the line as tampering and knowing that it's a federal offense to win the, win the election and tamper with that. So if I was you, Ross, I'd cooperate. And Ross is a very soft guy, so he's gonna scream like a little chicken never scream. But this is a democracy. And what you did in that city is un unbelievable. It's the lowest act any human being could do. I assure you this, at the end of it, I think you should give your kids to me to raise because I'll teach them about morals and what's right, Ross. Even your dad baked me. It can't be stopped, Mr. Siemens. Ross committed an act that is unforgivable. He violated the most sacred thing we have, our democracy. Ross known what he did. The greed got to him. I don't care what Ross says. This will go the full weight. It's a federal offense to rig that election. And the MP Ed Fast, Henry's best friend, stand by and watch this. The filth of the man stood by. Even the RCB said the MP's job is to step up. Ed wasn't because Henry was his best friend. Now the wreck Ed fast, given and up. So I want to state this. Thanks to the RCMP omission, but I want to thank Abbotsford residents. What's behind me, beside me, in front of me, of everywhere? Even over what Mike Sears did in Donna Macy when the threat came with Olinoff. Drop that effing videos and them lawsuits or I'll bury you. They all stood in the minus three weather with that little hissy little big girl. They're called a big girl. Big girl pants. Donna Macy stood up the stairs. Abbotsford police and the RCMP knew when an officer threatens, it's supposed to go right now to the safety standards act. That didn't. They were trying to save that two-bit flip company that Henry runs through the back door. Them shithole, low down, losing people. But I gotta tell you this, what stood beside me are 80 and 70 year old people. People with fighting them over these big bodybuilders. Look at me, I'm the Abbotsford APD, muscles big. 80 year old lady, how do you go home to your kids and say, grandma kicked my ass. Tremendous fighting grandma. Grandma kicked my ass. Abbotsford police are now realizing as Mike Flea, Mike Sears, Flea, he's running. Donna Macy won't be far behind him. Marion Keyes on the BC Riding Association, she said the other day, I'm done with the BC United. 
this is my last turn. I'm out this, this fall or something like that. And she said, Pam's my very good friend, but I could care less about her. I support the BC United. How do you do that to your friend? That's locked in. Brought to me in a live video, what Marion Keyes said. They're all fleeing, the little rats. I guess Mary Keyes realized what Mike did. But what I'm here for is this, Mr. Bruce Bamman. This is your riding. This here. Here's what Bruce Bamman, he runs Daryl Pluckus' old office. What was Daryl Pluckus, let me talk, go off the subject here, was a tremendous man. He was a man of ethics, morals, principles, values. When he learned what happened to the homeowners, and he was in Victoria, he flew back and did what he was supposed to do for his constituents. He didn't go on about premiers and everybody else. He did. He extended this, his hand, and said, let me see what my office could do. He knew what he was elected to do. So instead of Bruce Bamman going, I'll leave David Eadie's phone number. Here's what you should do, say, Bruce. Any concerns your constituent Scott, here's my address. Right here, it's right across the road here, off, of this, off this job site on McCallum. Here's my address, please come in, let's talk. Let's see what I could do, what the filthy city is doing against you. What can my office do? This is what my office is appointed for. This is what I'm appointed for. I'm not appointed to be an ass kisser with Ross Siemens. I'm appointed to help these old people. So here's where it lays. This job site is even proven. They hid the development sign in the trees to get it approved. Well, all these neighbors complained and screamed at the city and they were told, get out, get out, it's proof. Landless, landless. Mr. Al Capone, Henry Brown, landless. And Bruce Bamboo was a former mayor and he watched his constituents cry. He should have went in and said to Ross and to Henry and to all them loser counselors, you get that fixed. I don't care what it costs. You tell the developer to resubmit. It's landless, it's fraud, and it's all favoritism because you can see how Henry blocked other developers and kicked other prominent businesses like Molson and stuff out of here, what would have helped the economy in Abbotsford. Henry was supposed to be the smartest businessman. He was supposed to be the best man that ever, and he put Abbotsford in high taxes. He lifted Abbotsford around. He wrecked Abbotsford. He didn't do nothing for a resident anywhere. Henry saw the opportunity to grab the seat and go. His first week in the job, here's what he did. He started lobbying to have SkyTrain to Abbotsford because he was the former builder of SkyTrain. When he took 44 people upstairs in his office behind all council's back and Nancy Friesen said, it's best you talk to Henry upstairs than in front of the city council. And she was cleaning that. She knew she was doing a legal act to do that. Henry goes on, I built SkyTrain when it was being done. They called my company. Nobody was there about SkyTrain. Not them 44 old people that you bullied around, Henry. They were there about, this ain't right as a developer. You're pushing and somebody's paid off. That is true. There is no way you file like this unless you paid off. There's no way you could drive with 500 pounds of coke, have no license plate, be a former criminal of all times, and the Abbotsford staff sergeant pulls you over and goes, well, Mr. Tony Billick, you can go. That only means friends. So the first family, this is what you should be saying. Come in my office. This is what I am for. This is what I will do for Abbotsford residents. Come here. Nope, he's not. Since the flood, he took a gulp of that dirty water and hasn't come back up for air. He hasn't done nothing for them farmers. He hasn't lobbied for any of them. He hasn't done not a thing you can see by his videos. David Eby's phone number. Bruce Bamman, this is your obligation for your constituents. I bet you David Eby can see right now with all the chaos. And David Eby will know that even I and every people helped you because they wanted change. And you went fall suit back to the same old garbage that Bruce knows. The same garbage. Oh, I gotta go with the guys again. The guys make me feel good. You don't know how to hold up that office. I'm ashamed that even I had to cast my vote for you. I'm ashamed that these old people have to come and say that. So to David Eby and to the BC Conservatives, 
they can see you crumbling right now because these are your constituents complaining. They see you falling. So they pretty much smart, Bruce. And they'll say, get somebody in there that control them ridings now. Get somebody in there that'll sit and listen to that office and take them complaints. Get somebody in there that'll open that. Hell, you even got Daryl Pluckus' old secretary. She's smart enough to tell you to stop the game. This should have never been passed. And now what are we going to have? I feel sorry for the developer like we got with the Abbotsford Police Station. 71 million ripped out the door for a bunch of losers. 71 million dollars ripped out the door. Henry knew, and so did Ross when I run in the election. That's why they took that precaution to stop that all for these jobs, this losing stuff over every resident. File proper, do proper, open your door, Bruce Bammett, and stop talking about David Eby, because why I stand here is to show David Eby your incompetence, your, 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 your negligence, your, your ability to govern, your ability to do right for residents. These are old people. You're supposed to be their ears and their eyes and their voice. And right now, what's more important is, let's go party with the Abbotsford first. They're the ones that brought you down. Let's go hang out with Ross. There's two sets here. This is what happened to our MP, Ed Fast. Ed Fast laid in bed with Henry Brown, and he couldn't stop it no more. Them two offices are supposed to be separate, the MP and the MLA, to make sure this didn't happen. This is how it happened. This is how it happened with Mike Young and Ed Fast. And when the RCMP said to all of us, go to Ed Fast, he'll put a stop to Henry's crap. Aaron Brown was right. My dad controls Ed Fast. He won't even stand up for that hit and run. You go challenge him. Now Ed Fast pulls Pierre Paulier down. So to David Eby, I suggest you select a good candidate here. Marty Sandu is a tremendous person. She's honest through her soul. She's kind of like Pamela Alexis. So is Alex Mitchell. So is Rianne Gasper. They're honest people. They were the ones that at the Sports Center, when Ross Siemens' old team, that he still is, he never denied that he was, away from him, stood up and went to the sports announcer and said, I grabbed Abbotsford first on her private. They called it out immediately, and they're supposed to hate me. All the witnesses have signed affidavits to send it to the Attorney General. The low-down, disgusting crap that has took place for the manipulation of you to govern. It's a nice, handsome, rewarded job. You don't got to get up like I do at 5 in the morning and go to your job site. But you don't appreciate it, Bruce. So here's your obligation, and you need to answer these questions to all these residents. Rather than, my eyes closed, I can't see that. I'm Bruce, David Eby. Live in Abbotsford, British Columbia. Right at Bruce Bamman's office, David Eby.